Time now for your JCTV Daily News Update with the latest in news. Adopted by Stutzman County as part of its Wind Farm Zoning Ordinance last spring. Covering your local weather. Monday will start to cool off, but there is no snow in the weekend forecast. And the latest in Jimmy Athletics. Rantapa dribbles to the right wing. Now on the corner right side, Variato 3. Got it! For your JCTV Daily News Update, here's Ronnie LaCroix. Good evening, Jamestown. This is Ronnie LaCroix with your weekend JCTV News Update. In campus news, an Iranian science author will present photos and videos with the last two Mars missions conducted by NASA on Monday. Abraham Victory has written numerous articles related to space exploration, astronomy, and cosmology. Since 2003, he has served as author, producer, and host of a widely popular science program on Persian language satellite television, The Wonders of the Universe. Victory grew up in Tehran, Iran, and came to the United States in 1952 to continue his education. He earned his bachelor's and master's degrees from MIT in mechanical engineering, and he was involved in research projects at MIT during his graduate studies, and continued them for various government agencies, such as the Air Force, Navy, NASA, and many private corporations with respect to the Nuclear Weapons Effects Program. Victory's presentation is free and open to the public at 7.30 p.m. this Monday in Voorhees Chapel. In community news, Charlie Corazian has announced that he will be running for mayor of Jamestown this June in, in the primary election. Corazian was Jamestown's mayor from January 1997 to July 2006 when he lost his bid for third term to current mayor Clarice Lichty. Crajan's political career began in 1974 and says he is running for mayor to bring back some credibility to Jamestown City Council and to get some of the pending projects completed. And one of Crajan's goals is to restore good communication between local groups. In other news, if you haven't heard yet, Jamestown has lost a beloved friend on Tuesday, which is Rolly Greeno. Greeno was a teacher and coach of 52 years, 37 of them at Jamestown College. His teams won 81 conference championships in football, wrestling, cross country, and track and field. Greeno is in several sports hall of fames, including the North Dakota Sports Hall of Fame. The Jamestown College football field was named in his honor in 1999. His funeral service is this Saturday at 2 p.m. in Jamestown Civic Center. We'll have more information for you on his service to Jamestown College next week. The weather has been amazing this past week, with Friday topping out at 55 degrees with a partly sunny sky and some gusty winds here and there. Your weekend is looking great as well. Let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Saturday is going to be beautiful with a high in the 60s and a very sunny sky with a low of 28. Sunday will be great as well with a high of 62 degrees and a nighttime low of 40. Monday and Tuesday we'll, we are going to see some lightning in the sky, but those temperatures are going to stay high with Monday at a high of 64 and a low of 50 and Tuesday topping out at 70 degrees with a low of 50. Wednesday will be mostly cloudy and a, with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 40, so go outside this weekend and enjoy that great weather. Speaking of weather, this is going to be a great weekend for sports. Saturday men and women's track are in the Bison, are the Bison, Bison Classic Outdoor in Fargo. Also baseball will have a home doubleheader tomorrow against Dickinson State University. The games will start at 3 p.m. Softball is also home on Saturday against Dickinson State University, games also starting at 3. Sunday men and women's golf are on the road to South Dakota School of Mines in Rapid City, South Dakota. Baseball and softball will also be in the field on Sunday against Dickinson again. The games will start at 1 p.m. We will have all our Jimmy Sports results for you on Monday. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for spending some of your weekend with me, Jamestown. This is Ronnie LaCroix, connecting the campus with the community. Have a warm and fun weekend. We'll see you on Monday.